My name is Holly and I am so excited that you're here. Look at this super cool tower I just made. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, I know. It took me quite a while to build. Oh, but you know what? That reminds me of our Bible story today. We get to hear about King Solomon that you guys probably heard about last week. King Solomon asked for wisdom. And then after he got that wisdom, God helped him build something super cool. We're going to hear all about it in Callie's world. So let's go check it out now. Hello, friends. Good to see you again. Today, I'm coloring a picture of something I love about where I live. New York City! I guess we live in a pretty famous and historical city and the local library is filling its walls with pretty images from all the little kids like me. I love a lot of things about my city. There's a really fun lake where I see ducks everywhere. I could draw a picture of the tall buildings I see downtown. I also like the donut shop on the corner because they have world famous donuts. It even says they are famous on the sign. I'm pretty thankful to live here. There are so many good things to be thankful for. Hallie. Hey mom. Let's put on our shoes to go help clean up the park with friends today. Do I have to? I would love for you to spend a few minutes doing your part. Okay. Well friends, I have to be honest and say I'm not super excited about cleaning up at the park, but I'm sure today's Bible story will change my mind. It's time for our Bible story. David was learning that being a king wasn't everything he thought it would be. God told David that he would not be the one who would get to build a famous temple for God. David's son Solomon would be. Solomon knew he couldn't build a place that was actually good enough to be God's real house. God is way too big and way too great to fit into any single place here on earth. But Solomon was so thankful to God for showing him kindness and taking care of him that he wanted to give as much as he could back. So he built. Have you ever been so happy and so thankful for a gift that you wanted to give something back to the person who gave it to you? That's how Solomon felt. So Solomon, instead of giving a gift back, gave his time, his energy, and his focus to building a special place for people to spend time with God. The temple that Solomon was building was so special that he cared about every small, tiny, little detail. What is the coolest place you have ever been to? Well, imagine that place plus infinity and you might begin to understand just how awesome this temple for God was. In Psalm 84, we hear just how Solomon might have been feeling toward God. A psalm is like a song and Psalm 84 sings about how there is no place the songwriter would rather be than with God. In fact, it says that one day with God is better than 1,000 days anywhere else. God had given the songwriter and Solomon so many good gifts that they wanted to give the gifts back. They wanted to say thank you back with every song they sang and with every move they made. Can you make some moves right now? Everything that you do is a chance to say thank you. When do you like to say thank you the most? When someone does something nice for you? When someone shares their toys? When your parents cook a yummy dinner? When God does things for us, we can say thank you with what we have, our smiles, our words. We can say thank you with our hands and our feet. When we really think about God's kindness and all he does for us, we can wonder, what in the world can I give back to such a big and good God but remember today's Bible story. And remember, when we are thankful, we can give God what we have. Well, Solomon didn't hold on too tight to the things that were his. He totally could have. I mean, sometimes I don't like to 
to share or give my things away. I didn't really want to go to the park today to help clean up. But do you know what I learned? I learned that while I'm giving my time and helping clean up the park, it shows my city how thankful I am to live here. Wait, that's it. That's what I was missing. Thankfulness. It's easier to give and share and take care of others when we are thankful for what God has done for us. Should we make a list of things we're thankful for together? I thank God for my friends. I thank God for my family. I thank God for the food that I eat. I thank God for everything. When we are thankful, we can give God what we have. It may not feel easy at first to give things away or to spend time doing things for others, but we can start small, like every thank you we say is something we can give. I'll start. Thank you, my friends, for learning and growing with me. Okay, gotta run. Talk to you soon. Peace. Wow, wasn't that an incredible story about King Solomon and how he built this huge temple? So cool. King Solomon used the wisdom that he got from God to make this incredible building that people from all over the world could come and know God better. But you know what's really cool about that story is King Solomon had the wisdom to make the temple, but it took a lot of people to actually build it. People that were good with hammers and could nail the boards, people that were good with stones and could carry heavy things, a lot of people with a lot of different gifts. So that reminds me of you guys, because you all have super special gifts too. Maybe you are really good at drawing, or you're super creative, or you love to dance. There are so many gifts, and we can use those things to honor God, just like King Solomon did. Hey, that reminds me of our memory verse this month. Let's go say it together right now. Let's say our memory verse together. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 1. Let's say it one more time. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10, 1. Great job. Oh, what a super good verse, hey? Yeah, we can use the gifts that we have to honor God. I think we should pray about that right now and ask God to help us do that this week. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much that you gave King Solomon wisdom and that he used it to honor you and to bless you and all those people involved in the temple too. I pray that you would help us to use our giftings too to honor you and to bring you glory. Help us practice that this week. And thank you so much that you love us no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, I had so much fun hanging out with you and I can't wait to see you back here at the lab next week. We'll see you then. Bye. Joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, faith, and self-control. I said love. Joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, faith, and self-control. I said love. Joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness, faith, and self-control. I said love. Joy, peace,
Patience, gentleness, kindness, faith, and self-control. Fill me up till I overflow. Fill me up till I overflow. Fill me up till I overflow.